Good morning, folks, and thank you for joining us on day two of our Camp Connections. My name is Matthew, and I am the program director at the West River Center. This morning, I'm joined by future camper Deacon, and we're super excited that you're joining us for story time. We're going to read from the first chapter of Mark. John's preaching. John the Baptist was in the wilderness calling for people to be baptized to show that they were changing their hearts and lives and wanted God to forgive their sins. Everyone in Judea and all the people of Jerusalem went out to the Jordan River and were being baptized by John as they confessed their sins. John wore clothes made of camel's hair and a leather belt around his waist. He ate locusts and wild honey. John announced, one stronger than I is coming after me. I'm not even worthy to bend over and loosen the straps of his sandals. I baptize you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. About that time, Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee, and John baptized him in the Jordan River. While he was coming up out of the water, Jesus saw heaven splitting open and the Spirit, like a dove, coming down on him. And there was a voice from heaven, You are my Son, whom I dearly love. With you I am well pleased. In the story, we and the people gathered around the river become aware of the parentage of Jesus. It is a monumental story that helps set the stage for our faith. It lets us know that Jesus' divinity is at the center of what we believe. We take this story as evidence of a fundamental truth. It is integral and defining of everything that comes after. The question we have to focus on again and again is how do we respond? The Gospels are full of wonderfully rich stories that Jesus wants us to take to heart, centering around how to love God and how to love our neighbor. When people ask me about the power of camp, I always tell, talk about the stories of campers loving their neighbor and the places they've shown up for one another over the years. To sporting events, to family funerals, to birthdays. Camp gives us a place to practice loving God and our neighbor, and we're able to bring that into the world and put it into action. With the current events unfolding before us, we have to recognize all the places and spaces where we can act as God's loving hands in this world, loving our neighbors to demonstrate how much he loves us. Would you all pray with me? All right, Deacon, we're going to close our eyes. Dear God, thank you for your son. Thank you for the opportunity to love him and to love the world. We ask, Lord, that you open our hearts and our eyes to the people around us who need you in their lives and all the ways that we can be your hands for them. All these things we pray for in your name. Amen. Tune in tomorrow.